There it is, 80s rock legend Dave Bickler from the band Survivor singing one of their biggest hits, Eye of the Tiger. Oh, I love that one. So the original lead singer back home in Minnesota for a pair of concerts this weekend. And we have Dave here with us. Good morning. Good morning. Good to the, be with you. It's great to have you back. We always love when people have Minnesota roots and we get to kind of claim them. I, I hear that. I yeah. Hear that. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were born in North Dakota, but where did you spend some time in Minnesota? Wilmer, Minnesota. Wilmer, where Minnesota. I, we moved there when I was, I think, three, three or four. I'm not precisely sure and until I was eight years old which is it's a huge time in your life as a kid you know oh, yeah. so I remember all this stuff you know I mean growing up there and uh, so it was great memories great great place to be a kid yeah, we're here in I we we started with eye of the tiger yeah you usually end with that in the and show we end right? within the show I have to you're yeah. still <laughs> I mean this is a song when you did this song originally did you I mean, could you have even imagined that? Like, they're still playing that sucker at like baseball stadiums. No. I mean, you're still getting royalty checks for this thing. I hope. Yeah, and I, I would have never imagined it. You know, but I mean, I, did it, you it, know? I, I mean, I when felt, you do a I hit, actually, are you like, I know this is it? Well, I actually felt when we were recording in the studio, when I was singing it, you know, doing the vocal for it, that there was something about that rhythm mm -hmm. that was really catchy. You yeah, know? you instantly start tapping your feet. And and of course it was, you know, it was the song was written specifically for the movie. We, mm -hmm. you know, Stallone was yeah. looking for looking for a band. To, to do that, and he knew Tony Scott, Scotty, our uh, uh, record company president. So he, he played him our second album, Premonition. He heard that, said, "Yeah, I like those guys. You know, see if they can come up with a song for for me." And it, and it worked out okay. It for worked you. out okay. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get into music in the first place? Um, I, you know, I was. I, I felt like I had. You know, I, I was singing all the time. My yeah. parents tell me when I was real little. You know, I was always singing. Um, and then it, what really. Changed my life was the Beatles, and I know this is such a cliche, but it's absolutely true. I watched the Beatles. I was 11 years old on Ed Sullivan, mm -hmm. and it just was like getting hit by a lightning bolt in in my forehead. Yeah. It was just, oh my God, I want to be like those guys. They were so cool, you know. They played their own songs, played their own instruments. You know that that's that's. Yeah. And that moment though was a pivotal. That's a real pivotal that, moment. So that was a real cliche, pivotal moment. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's a cliche. There's a reason. It's, it's a, a good cliche. one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, you're in concert in Waconia tonight at a winery, right? Yeah. That'll be pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful there. It really is. It's beautiful, gorgeous. It's so like yeah, two, like two shows this weekend, and coming back, like for you as someone who has these kind of iconic songs, do you? As an artist, do you feel that pressure of like, okay, we have to play the hits, but I also want to do some other things, or are you just trying to please the crowd? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All of the above. Right. What's right. it like coming back to Minnesota when you have that opportunity to come back to a place where you've lived before and you kind of have people who are excited because they do claim you as their own? Well, Does it make a difference? It's just beautiful here. Uh, you yeah. know, you can tell you come here. You know, it's got a certain look to it. You know, the lush beauty of Minnesota, you know, and all the lakes and stuff. You know, it's really good. And, and everybody's super nice here, too, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're people pretty are, nice. People are we're pretty friendly great. around you know, <laughs> To your face. It's a different. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so Dave is going to perform tonight in. Waconia at the Sovereign Estate Winery. Waconia just beautiful. The show's at 6 o'clock. Tickets are $30 for that show. Then on Saturday night, you'll be in Westbrook for the Keeping Up the Courage concert. That's from 6 to 10 o'clock, and tickets for that are $25. Should be a fun weekend. A couple yeah. of great shows. We hope yeah. everybody comes out and sees you. Me too. Come on out. Very Absolutely. good. Dave, thanks for coming in. We appreciate thanks. it. Thanks, guys.